Just got to the gym. I don't know uh, how it is. It looks nice. Like security. It was like a glass gate that I had to get through. And there's a big old, there's a line of people that want to get memberships. And like one guy working the counter. So I'm just chilling downstairs waiting to buy a day pass to see how it is. But to be honest, this might be the gym I'm going to go to while I'm here. So I saw on the screen that it was um, about 35 euros a month. But hey, it's like 10 minutes from me walking and I can't complain. Hopefully it's nice. So today will be the test. And I'm trying to hit upper body today. So it's probably going to be arms, chest, and some back. High volume. I just want to be here, relax, just get it all out and get a nice pump. I guess I'll just take you guys through my workout. So that's it for the gym. Um, I definitely did more than what I was able to record. You could tell it was a chain gym. Like everybody and their moms was there. And in America, the chain gyms are packed. So here, there's not many chain gyms. So you could only imagine how packed that gym was. But all in all, I still had a good lift. I just was not able to record, set up my stuff angle it and put the tripod and everything so i started the recording doing shoulder press but before the shoulder press i did bench and i only got up to i don't know if you guys can hear me but i'm nearly at an intersection right now trying to get to my street it's like almost nine and the sun is coming down so i want to get this recording in before it's too dark but on bench i only went up to around 245 everything's in kilos here so that's a rough estimate i wasn't trying to do the math um then i did shoulder press i got up to a plate on shoulder press and then i was just doing some hypertrophy back workouts then after that i did seated chest press some tricep movements and then after that i did seated chest uh chest flies nothing serious but it was um high volume I'm by myself again, so I couldn't really go super heavy. Um, as far as my diet goes, it's literally just been, to be honest, it hasn't been the healthiest. I'm definitely not getting my daily protein in that I should be getting, and I'm definitely eating way more carbs that I should be eating, but it's just hard acclimating to everything. Again, this is only like my third day, and I wake up in the mornings, I get ready for work, I have to take the bus to work, and it's just a lot of more, it's just a different routine. I wanna get used to the routine, and then I'll be able to get after it from there. I think this is the street that I turned down, to be honest. Um, see, I was getting super dark. I was in a lit area, but now it's really dark. So it's definitely a different routine that I have to get used to. And then once I'm used to that and I feel comfortable with my routine, then I'll start hitting hard on my diet. My diet definitely is gonna be way more flexible 
just because I don't have a scale here. So I'm not gonna be fiending over the scale. I'm not gonna be knowing what works and really what doesn't work. So I'm gonna be basing it off of how I look in the mirror and your mind can play tricks on you and then you can feel discouraged and then you can be depressed and I don't want any of that. I just wanna enjoy myself, have fun, lift like a madman, eat like a madman, explore like a madman and enjoy these four months. So I guess the introduction to my new series is gonna be called Bulking in Paradise. How fun is that? So now I'm more flexible with what I eat. I'm also gonna be walking a lot more and I'm also gonna be trying to lift a lot heavier. So I'm gonna be basing the amount that I eat by my progressive overload. So if every gym ses or every other gym session, I'm getting more and more stronger then I know that I'm eating enough. And once I hit a plateau, I'll start eating more and I'm trying not to stuff my face because I don't want to become a, a whale either, but I want to get stronger, I want to get bigger, I want to get thicker, and if that sacrifice is abs, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna end today here. It was a good day, a fun day. I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did. Peace. So I just made it to Plaza Catalunya. So it's like one of the major plazas here in Barcelona. It is beautiful. Very, you know, tourist oriented, but it is still, this is just a valley with a bunch of shops and little stores and restaurants and, and a little mall and bakeries. Um, I was just in the actual square where they had the fountain and a bunch of pigeons and stuff and this is just awesome. I like to just travel. I mean right now I have to just explore alone but I don't know it's just something about it is just enjoying it. I can stop whenever I want, take pictures whenever I want, take videos whenever I want but right now I'm still on my way to the cathedral, um, Na Sagrada Familia, and I guess in America, well maybe to me personally, I never really thought there was a big difference between a cathedral and a church. I just thought any big church that looked old was a cathedral, but here in Barcelona, there's a really big difference, and there's really only one cathedral in Barcelona. There's a bunch of churches but there's only one cathedral and I'm gonna go take pictures of it, take a video and show you guys. And then as soon as, I, as soon as that's done, I think for my first meal, I want some churros and chocolate. I don't really like chocolate, so hopefully they have a different kind of sauce. Honestly, beautiful. I made it. Um, there was a the court behind me. There was like break dancing and flips and stuff, but I caught it late, so I couldn't record anything. But they were like jumping over people from what I saw from afar. But as soon as I got there, they already finished the show. But um, yeah, this is the get the top of my head at that. This is the cathedral. It's not as big as Sagrada Familia, but um, but it's still, I mean, beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can get in. I don't know, I think it's too late. I think we have to pay, and I'm not really trying to pay to go inside the cathedral, but if I don't, y'all yeah, see.
I lied. I'm having some manna gelato. It's pretty good. It's uh, creme brulee flavored. I <laughs> now I gotta get used to the prices here because since this is a more tourist area, mad expensive. This right here was three bucks. It's like this fits in my, my hand. It's like an Oreo. But anyways, it's super good. It's super, super, super good. So I'm looking for the churro spot. I don't know where it is. It's all right. Not worth the travel. Maybe it's because I don't like chocolate. So, honest opinion, overrated. Overrated. Two rows of Spanish chocolate, overrated. Maybe because where I went, so that could also be a factor. And another factor could also be that I just don't like chocolate. So, but even though it wasn't like that sweet chocolate that's like, that I can tolerate, it was um, a little more bitter, less sweet. Which I mean, for some people they like that, whatever. I just did it for the experience. You can't be in Spain and not have churros and chocolate, right? So where am I headed to now? I am headed to Calle Merce, which is, um, near where my university is gonna be and also kind of near the beach and I'm gonna have some tapas there I don't know I've been walking for miles and miles and miles so I don't really feel tired but I also need to stop at a market or something and grab a water bottle because I'm pretty thirsty and I think there's one right here so I'm gonna stop in here, get some water, and continue the journey. Peace. I finished eating. I'm just walking. There's like no Wi Fi here, so I just stopped at a bakery and I'm gonna try my first Krona ever so we'll see how this goes cuz let me stop let me stop for this cuz cronuts are everyone be like oh cronuts are so good so let's see Bro, right, what And it tastes like bread, not even sweet. What's up? Back home in the crib. As you can see, it is... I have no clock here. Oh, it's like 9.15 p.m. Dark as hell outside. But over here in Barna, in Barcino, in Barcelona, that's the time people want to be eating, you know what I mean? That's the time people want to go outside and eat dinner at this time. Let me see what's outside. I'm out here in my balcony, my private, my private balcony. Cause you know, I'm like that, I only get the best. I only get the best. I got my man coming down here at the bike. I don't know if you can see him, that's my boy coming down. Yeah, my best friend. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna go. There's like a sports bar, two miles that way. I'm gonna meet my friends that are in the program studying here too and we're gonna have a good time I'm trying to eat 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 cuz I mean I've eaten nothing but BS all day as you guys saw but so but I kind of want something I don't know if I want something greasy but I want meat you know what I mean like wings or something so 
think I'm gonna let me go back inside. People think people think I'm crazy. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Today was a great day. Got to explore, enjoy my Saturday. Now I'm gonna enjoy my Saturday night. And tomorrow, let's see what we're gonna get ourselves into. Peace.